Hi, welcome to a SolidWorks 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that turbo snail exercise now in SolidWorks. Went pretty well. So let's have fun with SolidWorks. Okay, let's start with the helix and switch to a spiral. So choose one plane. I go for the top plane. You need to draw a circle and the dimension might be 235. Leave that sketch. Now use a pitch of 23 millimeters. I want to go in the reverse direction. Revolutions are 7 divided by 8, which means it's 0 0.175 revolutions. And the start angle might be 0 degrees, and I want it to go clockwise. So let's confirm and click somewhere, and you will see your spiral. Let's check the planes. That plane might be one which I could use, yes, or I could go for two new planes. So let's do a new plane. And first reference might be that spiral, and second reference should be that endpoint. Should be perpendicular, that would be okay, and confirm. Same here, go for another plane, select the curve and this endpoint. And of course you should delete that reference here. So this seems to be OK. Confirm. Now I will need a circle here and a circle there. But I've just noticed I've missed one option with that plane or with both planes. I should put this switch on so it sets the origin on curve. Confirm. And the same for the second plane. Set origin on curve and confirm. Now I need two sketches, one here, one there. So go for a sketch, maybe on plane one first. That will be a circle, but I need somehow that curve projected into my sketch. So go for Convert Entities, select that curve and it should be in the sketch. And this should be for construction only, like that. Now that circle, which I need, should be put right there and the diameter might be 20. And this should be on point. So this one and that point should be merged. Leave that sketch. Another sketch right there. Sketch. Let's bring in that curve. Go convert entities, select that spiral and confirm. Put this one for construction only and set a circle right there on this point. Let's deselect and go there. Okay, and that dimension might be 50. And leave that sketch. Now I can do a loft. 
so go for a loft with there you go yeah that sketch is already selected and the second profile would be this one but it should go along that path that's not a guide curve it's a center line great and I could try to make the start and ends constraint normal to profile and maybe normal to profile for the second one let's see if that works not really so let's cancel this out and do a normal one so second sketch right here go for that center line parameter this one and confirm now in order to split that surface I need two more planes so go for reference geometry plane and use as reference the top plane and I need it to be six millimeters but first I want to go in that direction that's okay and confirm then another one again with a reference to the top plane but right now six millimeter I want to yeah let's delete this one and flip the offset not 100 millimeter but six and flip the offset and confirm now let's go for a split line which should be this one split line and I want to use intersection yes and I want to split with this plane here and that plane and I want to split that surface and confirm now let's hide those planes and I want to delete this surface here that small part here so go for delete face and select that face here and delete yes and confirm nice now I need two lines so I need two sketches so go for a sketch on plane one and let's bring in those two points convert entities select just that point if possible and that point here now let's go for the complete edge doesn't really matter confirm put those two just for construction and then draw a line from this point here to that point up there leave that sketch and do the same thing on the other side so let's go for a sketch on plane 2 in this case bring in those two points convert it okay make them for construction only and again draw a line it seems I didn't snap there so let's 
Yeah, I didn't. So let's try once more. This point and that point should be merged and leave that sketch as well. And now I can go for another loft. So use a loft. Select this profile, this one and that one. And now use as guides this edge here and that edge here. And confirm. Great. Now another loft from this edge to that edge. So go for another loft. Select this edge here. Mm, that edge and this edge here. Like that. And give it a start and end constraint. Go for tangency to face and tangency to face. Now you could change the tension or the ball shear. So for the second one, let's go maybe to 0 0.5 and confirm. Now in order to limit that surface, I want to use a plane. Therefore, I could use one with an angle, so an axis would be nice. So let's see, go for an axis. And I want to use the intersection of two planes. Yes, and that would be the front plane and the right plane. And confirm. Great. Now a plane with an angle, so go for a plane. And that axis is selected, okay. I need a second reference and that would be another plane, maybe the right plane. And that's okay, I need an angle. Where to get the angle? There you can go for an angle. Right now it's 90 degrees. Let's check the direction with 45. So if I turn it around, nope. 45, so I should go for can I go for minus 45? I suppose not. It's just a positive value. So that would be 170, I suppose. Let's see if that will work. Yeah, that's more like it. So let's go for 175. And confirm. And now I want to trim that surface with that plane. So let's see, where's my trim command? There you go. I want to trim. This will be the tool. And I want to keep that side here. And confirm. Great. I could hide the plane and the axis as well. Great. Now I need a loft which goes from this edge here to go for the selection manager and select those edges here, confirm. 
it should be tangent to face at the end and I need two guides this would be one guide that would be the second guide and confirm so if I now change that angle here let's go for 178 degrees that should be more like it yes and let's hide that surface here now I need a sketch and that sketch would be on the top plane I need to bring in that curve here so go for convert entities select this curve and confirm then select it and make it for construction only great then I need a tangent arc which starts right here at that point and then maybe like this maybe like that okay now go for another plane and that plane would be normal to that curve in this point here and set the origin on curve confirm let's make a sketch on this curve here bring in that curve convert entities this one confirm make it for construction only then put a circle right there and the diameter might be 60 and I need to split that circle into two arcs therefore I will use a rectangle like this make this for construction only align that midpoint here with that one here coincident add a dimension and this might be maybe 26 or 28 let's go for 26 doesn't really matter now I want to split here let's see if we can snap onto that or those intersection points so this should be the intersection point here and go for the other side as well intersection point and okay should give me here a single arc and leave that sketch now I can do another loft okay let's go for a loft start with this edge here and go to that arc so go for selection manager and select just that arc confirm now move that up there and I could add a center line uh, maybe let's try first of course the tangency to face and see if we can add that center line not really so let's delete this here and just go for the tangency so that would be nice if it would be normal to that one so go for end constraint and go for normal to profile this looks better and confirm now another loft and bring back that sketch 
which is hidden right now, show it. And I want to use my selection manager and add those edges here as one profile, confirm, and then again with the selection manager, add this one here and confirm. Let's go for tangency at the start and then add those guides, this edge and of course that edge. And I could see if I can go for normal to profile here as well. Yep, maybe I could even add a center line. Can try. Yeah, this seems to work, so let's confirm. Nice, but that doesn't look too good here. So go back, edit it, and if I remove that center line, that's better. And confirm. Nice. Last step. Let's knit those surfaces together. So go for knit surface. And I want to knit this one, that one, this one. And this was already merged, obviously. So that's the missing one. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook app and page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.